beautiful rainbow. Got a little bit of a kipe on them. All right, Justin just caught a pretty nice one. I think we ought to measure and weigh him real quick. It's a nice brown. We're going to measure him and weigh him. He's screaming. Feels pretty big. All right, Mr. James just got this nice rainbow jigging. Justin with his first ever brown. Look at that beauty. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode. We're taking you ice fishing on 11 Mile Reservoir, and it might be our last time on ice. We're about to hit the road now. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Let's see what today holds. Thanks, guys. We arrived here at the mile and we're actually meeting two of our friends here that we met through our YouTube channel and they've both requested some SST merchandise. So if you guys want to be on the team, make sure you holler at me and I'll get you a hat and a shirt. Lots of different colors and styles. These are the ones they've requested. So just hit me up on here and we'll get you guys dialed in. Yeah, I think yep. those are right actually. Definitely. There you go. And then yeah, there's a couple stickers. I don't know what else is in there, but you guys can grab at whatever else is in there. I think there's some business cards or something you guys can hold on to. Yeah, if you... yeah, man. And, if, and if one of you guys wants the bag and everything, feel free to take it. All right, guys, not great news. Our normal spot is has 10 or 15 feet of open water, so we got to go find a whole new spot on the other side of the lake. So hopefully we can get put on something good. We're going to go check it out. So we just pulled up at old Sucker's Cove because we're getting kind of shit on today. And it uh, looks like there's still some water, but we see a cap of ice, so we're gonna see if we can get it to it. So we checked two different sides of the lake, and there was about 10, maybe 20 yards of open water before you could even get to the ice cap. Looking like knee to waist deep of water. So we're unable to get on the ice right now. I'm not gonna say that there's nowhere you can't, but the few spots and different sides we checked was a no-go. So we're heading to Ontario Reservoir, where we've actually talked about all going. So we're just gonna charge over there before it gets too late. We spend too much time looking around at 11 Mile trying to find a place to get on the ice. So next thing you'll see, we'll be rolling up on the spot in Ontario. guys we just pulled up at Ontario and there's definitely enough ice so we're gonna get out there next I got two rods and two jaw jackers out and I'm gonna go ahead and start zipping some holes before I get my whole setup try and get some rods in the water All right guys, we just had our first bite. Sounds like it could be a decent fish. There he is guys, beautiful spotted dark rainbow. Just got the first fish, beautiful rainbow. Got a little bit of a kipe on him. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. We're all set up out here on Ontario. We got a couple jaw jackers out and a beautiful sunrise. We'll see what happens next. Might be a little guy. All right, second fish on, guys. Kind of feels like a little dinker. Yep, it's definitely a little guy. Here he comes. There he is, second fish, dink, stalker. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. Here he goes. Looks like Justin might have fish number three. Nice one, bro. And with fish number three of the day, number one for him. All right, Justin just caught a pretty nice one. I think we ought to measure and weigh him real quick. He's looking 22 inches and in fat. All right, we're letting this big guy go. 4.6 pounds and 22 inches. Here he goes, guys. Another fish just hit. Can't tell if he's big. He's kind of shaking like he might be small. Looks like a brown. There he is, nice little brown. We're gonna go ahead and let him go next. Let's get him back in the water. 
Mr. James just got hit. Were you jigging? Yep. Nice. I'm jigging, just slowly up and down, and you know, there, you just ended up hitting it. All right, Mr. James just got this nice rainbow jigging, and he's gonna keep it. Bring it home to the wife and kids. Yes, sir. Fish on. Jaw jacker just went off. Feels like a dink. There he is, pretty little rainbow. We're gonna go ahead and drop him down the hole. All right, so I pulled one of my jaw jackers out and I've got the Vexler out here and I'm gonna try and do a little jigging. Never really done well with jigging here at Ontario, but James got one that way and I've heard a lot of people do, so let's give it a try. We just got nailed and it made a good run. Sounded like a pretty good fish. Oh yeah, fatty. There he is, pretty beautiful rainbow. We'll hold him till he kicks. There he goes. Just a little guy. Definitely a pretty looking fish. I'm quite sure they will say so. Mr. James just got a nice little brown here. You gonna let him go? Yes, sir. All right, let's drop him down this hole. There he goes. Another fish on, guys. Feels like a pretty decent one. I see him down there. Beautiful brown trout, probably 16. Hold his tail till he's ready. Little update, we're all set up and we're posted up. We've caught some fish. It's been actually pretty busy nonstop. Brown trout, a couple dinks, a 22 inch 4.6 pounder. And then I also had a pretty decent fish this morning. We didn't measure him or weigh him, but he had a cool kipe on him. We're just gonna sit out here and see what else we can make happen. Oh, screaming. Feels pretty big. Yeah. You might, my line. might need to tighten up just a little bit. All right, there's the fish James just caught. He's just getting ready to uh, de-hook it and release it. He went to grab his pliers. Jaw jacker just went off. There he is, guys, another beautiful brown trout. There he goes. Just got nailed. I think this might be a good one. Oh yeah, he looks good. Ooh, that's a big brown. Let's see if we can get him up here. All right guys, I think I'm gonna keep this as my one fish today. It's a nice brown. We're gonna measure him and weigh him. What do you see in there, James? Uh, 21 inches. 21 inches, all right, let's weigh him next. 3.78 pounds, beautiful brown. Justin's rod just went off, here he comes. Feels like a nice one, bro. Brown. Justin's first brown, guys. Pretty fish. Justin with his first ever brown, look at that beauty. So Justin's getting both these browns on the stringer and he's gonna bring them home and he's gonna smoke them. I need to tighten up a little bit there. Does yours make that clicking so sound just as you reel regardless? No. You might need to tighten her down some. You get a lot of line twist when that happens. He's a little tough. Yep. Nice one. All right, James just got a nice brown here. 
James Brown. Yeah. See him, he looks good. What happened, Justin? Snapped me right off. Big boy just snapped Justin at the hole. We're gonna re-rig and get him back in the water. Life keeps moving, guys, whether if it's with or without you. It's a little guy. Here he goes. Not sure which number fish this is, but another nice brown by Mr. Justin. And he's off. Jawjacker just slapped off. Feels like a nice fish. Another beautiful brown, I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. Here he goes, he's all lively. All right guys, I just stepped into this tent to see if I could get away from the wind and give you guys a midday update. We've caught quite a few brown trout today. There's definitely been a lot of rainbows caught. It's been a great day overall. Although the, the ice wasn't there on 11 mile, we're actually pumped we came here. A couple first time browns and uh, yeah, we're gonna keep seeing what will happen. So stay tuned with us. If you haven't done it, subscribe to the channel. All right, Jaw Jacker just went off. Oh, he broke me off, I think. Justin with a nice little brown. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. There he goes. There he is, another beautiful brown. Definitely another solid brown. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. I was just getting ready to pull the jaw jacker in and it looks like it's a nice brown trout. All right, there he is guys. Go ahead and let him go. Another nice brown trout. Let's go ahead and get him back home. Pulling my last jaw jacker out guys. All right, boys, thanks for the support on the Spectrum brand. Yes, sir. Hope you guys had a good time today. Definitely, we killed it. So. That was awesome, dude. Do it again soon. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so in conclusion, we had a radical day. We caught a lot of fish, and the most browns I've ever seen brought up on the ice. You know, I went the beginning of this whole winter ice fishing season without ever catching a brown until a few weeks back when I busted my eye. You guys probably saw that episode. Anyways, to see that many browns come through after never catching them here is just amazing. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate you going all the way to the end. I'll probably film a little bit of the drive out of here. Other than that, please subscribe if you guys are stoked on this content. It really helps push us to keep going and uh, like and comment. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next week with another episode. I'm quite sure they will say something.